Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, Blu-ray talk, I suppose we can call it, uh, video, for a collection video. Um, now, as you may have caught, if you, if you watched the last ones, I did one on the top 10 Blu-rays that you must have in your collection, the top 10 Christmas Blu-rays that I feel you must have, and this one is the same, it's going to be the top 10 Blu-ray box sets that I feel that you either have in your collection or you must have in your collection. You don't have to have them all in your collection, but if you're collecting Blu-rays, like myself, um, you've got one of these or a few of these in your collection. So I'm going to start off. Um, now this isn't. This is going to be like probably, uh, obviously the top ten. So it's going to be writing down my favourite uh, Blu-ray box sets, uh, my personal ones that I've chosen for this video. Um, I probably will do one about directors and actors and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to separate them, because uh, there'll be a few Blu-ray Blu box sets I've got where it's directors and act actors and stuff like that. So I'll separate that, I'll probably do another one at some point. Um, so this is just my personal top 10 favourite Blu-ray box sets I've got so far. And it was a very hard, um, I must say it's a very hard uh, video to do this one because like I've got a few good Blu-ray box sets that I really like. Um, and to pick ones that I say, oh, I can't use, I'm not going to use in this video, um, you know, it was hard, because uh, I was torn between um, what ones I was going to use. So anyway, I'll crack right onto it. Uh, I'm going to go from 10 downwards, um, obviously. Um, so if you're familiar with my video and you watch, you watch them, you'll know what I'm going to, I'm, how I'm going to do this. Um, so I'm going to start with something dead funny. Um, I thought I'd give you a bit more comedy one. Something I really enjoy, a box that I really like, and it's I think it's quite hard to get now. Um, and that's the uh, Biggest Fokker collection. Um, and it's the Meet the Parents box set, or Meet the Fokkers box set, or however you want to call it. The Fokkers box set. Um, with uh, Meet the Parents, uh, Meet the Fokkers, and Little Fokkers. Um, so, I really enjoyed this box set. I got it when it when Meet the, when the Little Fokkers got released. Uh, in order to get Meet the Parents and uh, Meet the Fockers, you had to get this box set. You could only get Little Fockers um, single, you couldn't get them, uh, the rest of them single. I don't know how it is now, uh, I know that through time they do that, and then they re-release re it, uh, so you can get them single. But uh, I've not seen this box set since I got it away. I've seen it for a few years after, and then I've not seen it since. So... Um, whether you've got it in your collection, it's the Meet the Parents box set, really. If you don't have it, it's a really good box set to get. Um, if you like the Meet the Parents films, it's worth having in your collection, really. And it was one on my top list that I wanted to get since I got it. So, uh, my number nine is something that I chose personally for my own childhood favourite. And that's the Superman Anthology with Christopher Reeve. Now, this box set does include... I'm not saying all the Superman movies were good. Uh, I do enjoy the Superman the movie, Superman 2 especially. Um, it even has the Richard Donner uh, 2006 cut uh, version of Superman uh, 2, which is a really good thing. Uh, it's a really good, it's almost like a different movie in a sense, and it's great that they've included that in this box set. I owned the DVD box set of that, and it was, first time I saw it, I was amazed by it. I could not wait for the Christopher Reeve Superman movies to come out in Blu-ray form. And as soon as this Blu-ray did, I went right up to the store and got it. Christopher Reeve is one of my favourite Superman, it always will be. It's what got me into the, the superhero genre when I was a kid um, for superhero movies. I probably wouldn't enjoy superhero movies today if I hadn't watched this. The same with the Michael Keaton Batmans. I grew up in them as a kid. And today we're living in a world where superhero movies is constant. We're getting two to three a year. This is the start of it. Yes, it does have Superman 3, which is kind of, meh, good, evil Superman scene on it, and that's it. And Superman 4, where the quest for peace we'll just not talk about. It does have Superman Returns on it, though, which isn't a Christopher Reeve film. But it is included in this sort of, yeah... So apart from all that, I mean, the reason I put this up my number 9 was because how much the Superman movies mean to me as a kid. Um, you probably have this box set if you're a big Superman fan yourself, I'm sure, in your collection. And it is one to have. A really nice box set. I mean, I was impressed with that. 
where they had the wee S as a Superman for the Superman cape sort of thing or emblem on the back. Um, I mean, it is an eight disc dual X set and it's got hundreds of bonus features, hours of bonus features. So it is a nice box set to get. So that's up my number nine, guys. My number eight was, had to be, um, and that's the Indiana Jones, The Complete Adventures. That's a bit, my box set's a bit worn in turn. Um, I got it wet when uh, I first got it. I shouldn't have opened the seal. Uh, I got it, ordered it, was on the train, it was a rainy day. Opened the seal, and the rain got into my bag and wore that bit away. And I normally keep my, my Blu-rays and stuff in good condition, but um, enough of that. This does have the best uh, Indiana Jones trilogy in it. Not counting, of course, we do also have uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, unfortunately. Which I don't mind. Um, I think it's not bad, not bad film. There's bits in it I kind of cringe at. But apart from that, you know, you can't go wrong with Indiana Jones. I feel it's a good box set. And, you know, if you're buying them single, you didn't mind Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but you wouldn't personally go out your own way to buy it. This is the box set to get, unfortunately, if you want to have them all. So, yeah, that's it, my number... Number number eight. My number seven box set is one of my favourite box sets personally because I enjoy all these movies. Five is a very wee bit hard one to watch but it's still watchable and that's the Rocky films. Uh, the Rocky collection. Um, and there was two versions of this exact same box set. I've got the one where it's him holding the boxing glove and I think the other one is him where, where he's, when he's in his gear um, ready to fight. And... Um, so now, I don't know if they've added Creed to a new box set or anything like that. I still haven't seen Creed. I know it's part of the Rocky world. But this one does have all the Rocky films, um, including Rocky Balboa, or up to Rocky Balboa. And of course, you cannot get, go wrong with Rocky. They're such good movies. Really thoroughly enjoyable movies. Um, and I had to put it as my number seven because it's one of my favourite box sets. I own the box set and the uh, DVD. And now... I own it in Blu-ray and probably own them in whatever kind of format it comes in the future. Another box set that I was torn about putting on my my uh, my number six, but you have to if you're a big if you're a big Bond fan, and that is spoiled it for you, the James Bond box set, and that was the fiftieth um, anniversary I believe that came out. Now you can get one where it's like <laughs> you know, I've had these this box set for three three maybe three three years maybe now. When it got released, um, and it goes up to at least um, I don't think it, it it goes up to Skyfall, but it's got the wee um, space in it for Skyfall. Yeah, it does. It has goes up to Quantum of Solace, and it's got the wee bit for Skyfall to go in if you really want to put it. Which I didn't do. I just kept it blank. But then now that we've got like you now we're going to have more Bonds. You knew this was not the the complete Bond box set you were getting, but you know if you wanted to try and get up to date or up to speed it was a fast way of getting them um, and I would keep this box set and I'll just keep collecting more I used to have a thing when I was buying DVDs that I hated buying the box set a lot of people hate buying the box set and then you have to add a new one to it and so forth and you feel that your box set's incomplete well the way the way movies are going these days you're never going to get a complete box set of I mean you used to think that with anything and, and one of my films that I'll mention in this video I thought the same with that and turned out. So, you're always going to get that. Um, but it's still a good box set. It's really good and it's got all of them. I mean, because some, the, some of the Bond films, there's really good ones and really bad ones. There's not, not all Bond films are good. So you wouldn't go out your way to buy them. Um, if you've got the box set, you've got it there and that's part of your complete collection. So, in that sense, it's good, you know. So much I think about some box sets, it's... Gives you a bad film inside it. You're kind of like, mm, but I've got it. So the collection and that's it. So that's up my number six. My number five was one that it's got to be in everybody's. And that's, of course, Back to the Future trilogy. Now this is the first version or the first release of the Back to the Future on Blu-ray that I got. I know there's another one since then. Um, which, uh, sorry guys, it's a bit dusty. Um, that has been released. Uh, I haven't got a chance to get around to get my hands on it yet. Um, more important things... Uh, I'm sure someday I'll get it, and uh, but right at the moment I'm happy with this release. Um, 
Because they do that, they release so many versions. Right now I've got this one, and then next time I'll, get, I'll go and get that one, and they'll release a, you know, a, another anniversary version. And it's just going to be, you're forever going to be buying the same film over and over again, just in order to get more extras for some strange reason. But at the moment, I'm really happy with this one. Back to the Future is one of my favourite trilogies. Um, you know, ever since they released a the hot toy of that as well, I was thoroughly over the moon when they released it. Obviously it was the... You know, the Back to the Future year in October um, 2015. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with Back to the Future. Really one of the most ultimate, one of the best films out there. And it's definitely in, probably in the top ten uh, movies of all time. Uh, the first Back to the Future. And the trilogy is really, really good as well. Because the two movies go, the last two movies go together perfectly. Um, at my number four... Now, this is a great box set, and that is Lord of the Rings Extended Edition. Now, The Hobbit has been released in this kind of same with a 3D version, but it's a kind of greyer version. I haven't got, I don't own The Hobbits yet. I don't think I've seen The Last Hobbit yet. Um, I didn't really enjoy The Hobbits as much as I enjoy Lord of the Rings. Um, I do want to own The Hobbit, just so I can have my extended, you know, Middle Earth collection. Now... Ever since this release, and The Hobbit's release, uh, this year they released this version and The Hobbit version in a one complete sort of book um, idea, um, and it's the extended uh, Middle Earth uh, saga or something they called it, I can't mind. So you can get both versions, if and how did you don't really care for the Hobbit movies, but you prefer The Lord of the Rings, this is a box set to go for, but I'm sure a lot of you have this in your collection, I'm sure. Um, I personally won't go out my way to get rid of this and go and get the Hobbits and the, and the Lord of the Rings together. I'm happy owning this. If I get the Ex Hobbits Extended Edition, I'll be great to I'll be great to own that on its own. I really, honestly, could not care to go and get rid of this that much for the Hobbits. Love Lord of the Rings. Um, loads of extras, hours of extras. Um, one thing, as I say, that always bugs me about them, uh, if I have any minor griff about them, is the fact that you have to switch discs. Something that can't be helped in this day and age, and maybe when they get develop discs where they can put hours and hours of footage on it, um, then that can get, res get resolved, but, you know, something very minor. It's just my personal, I hate getting up during the volume and having to put on the next disc. Anyway, at number three... One of my personal favourite uh, Blu-ray box sets. Um, when I did my top 10 Blu-ray movies you must own, probably wondered why one of them wasn't in my collection. Um, that's because I don't own it single, I own it on a box set. And that is Dark Knight uh, Trilogy. So it does have Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Now The Dark Knight would have been, if I, had, I did own that single, I got it. When I first bought my PlayStation 3, I think it came free with it. And that was my first Blu-ray. Um, but you always remember your first DVD that you got. My first DVD I got was National Lampoon's Vacation. And it was the first one I sort of had in DVD. And my first Blu-ray I ever got was The Dark Knight. So that would be it. That would have been in my top uh, 10 Blu-ray movies for sure. But since I don't own it single anymore, <clears throat> and I got the uh, Dark Knight trilogy... Um, you know, it is a really good box set, considering that you know at the very end, um, this was a complete, um, you know, this is a complete, unless years down the line that they decide to do another one, um, if things go tits up with the DC universe uh, that they're doing now, um, you never know, you know, like I say, nothing's set in stone, it's complete yet, they'll always, always try and do something. Um, but as for now, I can't see um, Christopher Nolan doing a, four, a fourth one yet. Um, so it's definitely the Christopher Nolan complete, and it's a great box set. It comes with a wee book as well. Um, well, this version did um, when I first got it. So it's nothing special. Just a couple of wee details about you know designs and stuff like that, which is I think pretty neat. Um, my number two box set, and this is a great box set. All but one movie, <laughs> um, and that is. The Godfather box set. So they're all dusty. Um, Godfather box set, and it's a Francis Ford Coppola uh, 
collection. Now this is the, I think this is, a, they did two versions of this. They did a black one, uh, the very first release, and then they re-released re it with this version. Um, it was a restored version or something they did. Now it does have all three films, the two being the best. And it comes with a bonus disc, which I found pretty good. Very, very, very good box set. It's one of my favourite uh, box sets there. Um, and it was hard because I was chosen between another Francis Ford Coppola box set to put in this, uh, and that was obviously, uh, I suppose you could call it a box set. It's kind of a, it is a box set, but, um, and that was the uh, Apocalypse Now box set that I've got with the, the two versions on it. It's not really a, a sort of movie trilogy box set or something like that, so that's why I didn't really count it into the video, but here it is guys, the Godfather box set, at least anybody that's got a good collection of Blu-rays must have this or must own this. It's one to own guys. And my number one, why not, had to be, and that is the Star Wars Complete Saga. Why did I choose this, considering now that this is incomplete, um, considering now that we're making, with Disney's bought it over. I think because this was the first one, when it, this came out, there was no Disney hadn't bought over um, up to this point Disney hadn't bought over Star Wars and this is the only Star Wars Blu-ray you could buy it was the first time it got released if Disney do any improvements on re-releasing their version with the original trilogy as in the original movies I will buy it this does have the special ver special editions on the original trilogy if they did one where it was, if they reissued the, if Disney reissued it and gave you the despecialised versions as it's called, I will buy it. Definitely. Um, at the moment, it's the only version, yes it does have the prequels, but it's still the only Star Wars. I mean, you, now you can get them sort of separated and get the original trilogy and that, but they're still special editions. And I do own The Force Awakens and I'm sure when Rogue One comes out I'll own that as well. But as part of this box set and this box set alone it has to be my number one. Purely the fact is I love Star Wars. Um, it's got the original trilogy and it. it's the only original trilogy I've got that I own. I did have the original trilogy, despecialised versions on DVD. Owned them. Silly fool of me, I had to sell them for... I think I sold them for money, I was needing money at the time. I'll never do that again. I don't care how much I'm starving, I'll starve. But <laughs> this is the the good box set to get if you're a big Star Wars fan. I'm sure every Star Wars fan owns this box set when it came out. And um, yeah, so that's my number one. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. As I say, I will do more um, Blu-ray box sets, or uh, talk about my Blu-rays. If you wish for me to do any of these videos, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to give these videos a thumbs up if you enjoy them. It helps me out, guys. Um, yeah, I will do one probably about actors and directors, box sets or something like that. I'll do something like that. And I'm sure I'll do more of these top 10 uh, Blu-ray box sets and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, please leave me know in the comments below what do you want me to talk about? Is there set films that, that I have that you want me to talk about? Any box sets like that? And I, can, I will... If you really request it, I will I will go out and do the video for you guys. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Till next time guys, keep collecting and goodbye.